Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today I wanna to talk to you about Kydex. And in particular, we're gonna be talking about Black Bear Custom Kydex. His website is blackbearck.com, blackbearck.com. And uh, Micah and I connected via, I think, Instagram a while ago, delayed doing some work together, and then finally connected. And he's done a ton of work for me here, as well as uh, lent me some of his Mora sheets, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, basically, what I wanna tell you is that he does a full range of custom gear um, in Kydex. So he, he's doing wallets now, I just saw, but right what you're gonna see here are knife sheaths, knife systems, multi-tool sheaths. He's got a cool um, automatic deployment system for uh, folders. I've got a new CRKT hatchet here. Bottom line is he does really excellent work and I wanna show that to you right now. Let's start off and talk about Mora as far as sheaths. So we've got a couple different ones here. Um, I think these are the craft line, but just to show you, let me show you up close there so you can see. Got some cool Cryptek. This is just a straight black one. Nice thumb ramp to get the knife out. Listen here. Nice click for that one. There's the, uh, the blue. And then same for this. So that's an example of two of the Mora options. Those are, for, again, I think it's the craft line there. Um, here's the Eldris. Tiny little Eldris knife. And there's the sheath. Kind of in like a pretty light tan. And uh, I gotta line it up here. There we go. So that's a nice little sheath. And I've got a piggyback system with an Eldris and I'll show you that in a minute. So that's what that guy looks like. Last up here we have the Companion. So this is kind of like a standard go-to as far as you know people just getting into the outdoors bushcraft survival. And you can see it's in that uh, digital camo. Nice solid click. So yeah, I mean, you can see definitely a bunch of different options just on a intro level there. There's a look at some of the Moras that he makes. Let me mention this one real quick. This is for one of the new CRKT axes, hatchets. I think they called it a, uh, an ax, but I would call it a hatchet. But anyhow, you can see Kydex up there. We've got a compass, We've got a um, fire steel from Exotac on the, on the top. You kind of separate it a little bit and then draw it out. So that's that right there. If you like this one, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to win this entire system, this entire setup here on the channel. Just stay tuned to the end of the video and you can find out more about that. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Just, I, I really like that contrast of the black and then the uh, the digital camo. So uh, yeah, and again, if you like this, you're like, yeah, but I want it for my personal axe, hatchet, whatever it is, then contact him, blackbearck.com and he will, uh, give you a look at you know what he has to offer. Other thing I want to show you is, I don't know if you can pick that up, but right there on the outside of the sheath is his logo, really cool. It's like a black bear claw with a face there and then BBCK underneath it. So that's what it looks like as far as, you know, some of your small chopping tools and even a large chopping tool, he can set it up like this. All right, so here's a look at my piggyback system. This is the Garberg and the Eldris. And you can see nice leather loop there with the logo on the back. You can see we've got kind of a deep red and then this really cool black kind of textured look that same on the front so piggyback system with the Eldris the Garberg and then we have a um, Exotac fire steel and he's he's got um, he's familiar with Exotac so if you like Exotac stuff you know you can work with him on that um, but again you know so we got the the Garberg here which is Moore's first full tang knife, as a lot of people know. And then the Eldris here. I like these two knives a lot. You know, you got a small one, you got a large one. And then I've got a fire steel here too. So again, I'll show you the back. Oh yeah, there's a uh, compass on the back. And believe it or not, this compass pops out too. So you can take that out and then it clicks in here, as you heard. So that's really nice. That's what that looks like. My Garberg and Eldris system. Let me show you one of my large systems that he made for me. This is from Tops. So we've got the Tops uh, Kukri here, and then we've got the new Puko. And then right here, we've got a um, MicroStream from Streamlight. And then down here, we have a Fire Steel from Exotac. That's what the back looks like. I think that's really cool. You know, that the three different uh, Cryptex there, or the same Cryptex, but three different spaces, three different sections of it there. You can see that on the back. And then on the front, obviously, We've got the Puko and the other things. So this one locks in, stays in place. 
The, um, this one's a little bit interesting because, you know, for a lot of kukris, you, you have to have like, you know, kind of a snap over here, but the way he designed it, you kind of push it up and out and then it comes out nicely. It still locks in nicely. Again, his logo stamped on the back of that brown leather. See if you can see that there. Get the lighting just right. There it is. There it is. So that's my system. Just great, you know, two great knives from uh, from Tops. A great little system set up there. All right, this is next up. This is my Bushcraft uh, knife from Spyderco. And we've got a sharpener there on the front. Nice logo again there with your leather loop. And then we've got a Blade Tech Tech Lock. So I could set it up in a variety of ways. Um, if I wanted to take off the loop, uh, you know, the dangler here, basically I just run this as like a cross draw. I could do that as well. Kind of a cool texture, if you can see on that, it's like black leather looking on the Kydex here. And then, yeah, just, just a nice combination. I basically, I gave them ideas for what I wanted on the other ones. And this one I said, just go nuts, do what you want. And came out awesome. So yeah, this is the AccuSharp sharpener. Got the little clip there, so it's not gonna accidentally fall out but you can certainly take that out obviously and sharpen up your knife. But that's a, again, a cool system. I asked them to do something really simple for my SE6. So you can see what the kind of the pattern is on that. And then we've got a fire steel deer. This is kind of a collector's item because that's from Pine Fire who they've shut down shop, but I do have one of their fire steels. There's your leather loop again with their logo. And then there's the SE6, nice lock in there so simple system but you know again just nice now this is probably the most complex system of all of them but just to show you kind of the full range of what he can do um, so this is the benchmade jungle clip point which i think is a great it's a great knife not a lot of people seem to talk about it but solid solid knife um, got a cool spartan head lanyard there cool lanyard work um, got the Surefire Titan up here. So you just gotta basically, since this is a twist light, you just wanna make sure that's off when you put it in. Then we have a sharpener right there. And then down on the bottom, we've got a little Altoids size 10. So you can keep, you know, fire starter in there, whatever else you want. And this clicks in nicely. Cool Black Bear Custom Kydex logo there. On the back, you can see We've got the Blade Tech Tech Lock. So this is set up to be on my left-hand side as a cross draw. And then the other thing to show you here is we do have a Fire Steel. So this is definitely a, you know, a very complex system, but just to show you, he can do this. Same uh, Kydex for the baseline sheath on this as we used on the SE6. And then this cool kind of like snake, orange snake pattern, which goes nicely with the, uh, with the handle here for my, uh, my Benchmade. This is my setup for my SE Hungless and my SE RB3. Got a pouch here that's designed for the SE6, but he set it up so it can fit nicely on this sheet system. Um, there's a little black survival tin inside there from SE. Uh, as far as the colors, we're looking at like kind of a, uh, an OD green and then like a coyote tan, coyote brown for the, uh, the other color. On the back, you can see we've got the uh, loop again. I'll show you the logo, the stamp there. Got the brown here for the actual attachment point. Show you the hungless real quick. So there's the hungless. And then there's the RB3. So, you know, this system is basically built for, you know, a large chopper and then a smaller knife to do some of that smaller detail work. So that's my SC hungless RB3 system. Let me show you a couple more here. This one's from my Leatherman Wingman. And we've got basically two similar setups uh, for this. This first one, you can see there's a little hook over the front. So you can loosen that up to, uh, to get your belt on and then now it's all set up, it's on your belt. You can carry it face down, you can carry it up, however you wanna set it up. It's not, this thing is not falling out whatsoever. And then when you wanna take it out, obviously, you know, give it a good strong tug and that'll come out. This is the other one. And let me just slide this in here. So this one has two little hooks on it so that you can run your belt through there then clip it over, clip it over. And then again, this thing is, this thing is not falling out. And then obviously if you carry it up, you're not gonna have any issues. And then when you want to take it out, 
easy enough to do. Now, when you look at those two systems, you may say that looks sim similar to what Thai Tactical does. It is similar. And these guys have talked and Thai Tactical said, yeah, you know, I'm giving you legitimate use of, you know, the, basically the system that is b best known probably from, from Thai Tactical. So um, they've got a good relationship between those two guys. Two more that I want to show you. This is similar again to Thai Tactical in that it's got that little kind of loop around there, a little uh, it goes around the back of the Kydex. This is an auto deploy for a folder. So you can see we've got a uh, we've got a tech lock there, and then there's there's the uh, the knife inside. And so when the clip is cinched down, then this thing won't come out. Nope. And then when you loosen the clip, so it it kind of pops like that. And now when I deploy this, I'm going to hold tight onto the. Um, to the blade tech tech lock when i pull out you'll see that my kershaw is going to deploy itself so watch this so that's pretty cool um you know not a lot of a lot of people are like well i just got my pocket knife but if you want a sheath for a folder that's i don't know i just think this is kind of a cool system so that it'll it'll deploy when you when you take it out of the sheath like so so yeah um i haven't used this one a ton but I, again the designs the design is pretty cool and yeah, I just like it. Let me show you one last one. Let me just set this up the correct way. Let me show you one last what one last sheet. last one I want to show you is for my hook knife. So I basically said, hey, you think you could design Kydex for my my Mora hook knife? Um, and he said, yeah. So he tried a bunch of things. Some of them were too thin. They weren't they weren't holding. They weren't doing what he wanted them to do. What you've got now is this bottom section which covers the blade, and then this top section which is attached with a uh, shock cord, and it uh, it basically goes around the handle. So essentially I can throw this in a bag. I'm not gonna cut any myself or anybody else, cut my gear. Uh, a lot of people just wrap leather around it, which works, but this is a Kydex option here. So you're gonna take out the hook knife like so, and then just push up on the bottom here, and you'll see that it'll start to loosen up. You wanna be careful with the hook knife just because you know it's they're dangerous. There's edges everywhere, there's blades everywhere. So that goes like that. And then when I wanna slide it back in, basically pop it down into the bottom section, click it back then slide it in like so so that's kind of just a cool system like this allows me again just to toss it into like a bushcraft bag if i'm like i'm gonna go into the woods and work on some you know carving a, a bowl or a spoon or something like that um now i've got this system to uh to carry it and not worry about cutting myself my gear or anybody else all right guys wrapping up here black bear custom kydex blackbearck.com um mike is a great dude I've, I've enjoyed working with him a lot so far and look forward to working with him more and more in the future and i'll roll in pictures on youtube on other social media so instagram tumblr twitter vero uh facebook all those different options and uh, and you'll see tons of pictures of the gear i didn't want to do it all at once and you'll also see a bunch of photos of this gear on his website because he just did a, a massive amount of work for me and so he's going to promote uh you know what what he does in different options by using pictures of this stuff which i am 100% behind that. Let's talk about the giveaway. Obviously, you're going to get the sheath and the axe. Again, the sheath has the uh, the Kydex there. You got a fire steel up top. You got the paracord here, and then you've got a compass on the back. What you need to do is in the comment section, you just have to say, I want to win! Exclamation point. All right. So just make it known that you want to win, that you've watched all the way to the end of this video, and you want to win this. And we'll let this video run for about a week, and then we'll uh, pick a winner, and we'll announce it. Um, I'll, I'll probably just contact that person, but I'll put a comment that I'll I'll put on the top of the uh, the feed of comments so you can see who the winner is. All right. So I want to win! Exclamation point. Put that in the comments, and you have an opportunity to win this from uh, Black Bear Custom Kydex and CRKT. It's always great to support a small business, especially a local one. Mike is about an hour north of me, uh, up in Maine is where he lives. And uh, yeah, check him out, BlackBearCK.com, and he's also on other social media outlets as well. Thanks as always for watching the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.